what a heck of a World Baseball Classic uh, we just witnessed and what we just saw. And I'm wondering how it sat with you, Commissioner Manfred. Uh, Rich, it, it, it was fantastic from my perspective. Um, you know, obviously the matchup at the end, you know, <laughs> Japan versus U.S., great matchup. Uh, Otani versus Trout, unbelievable. But, you know, there were things early that, that I loved as well. I think, you know, Mike Trout taking a leadership role in terms of getting the very best players to participate on the U.S. team was huge for us. Um, it, you know, some of the teams that, um, you, you know, from countries that you don't ordinarily think of as baseball countries actually winning games in the tournament um all, all great developments from our perspective and the business piece of it i mean we just killed the licensing viewership attendance um all the way around and so what do you say to fans who are wondering why this this happens why does this have to happen and uh, obviously fans of uh, the new york mets and the houston astros with edwin diaz and Jose Altuve getting hurt significantly in these contests uh, might be the, the the loudest voices in the room. What do you say to that those fan bases, Commissioner? Uh, look, the, the WBC is about growing the game internationally, um, and you know if you look at the level of interest that was generated in um, Japan during this event, throughout the event we had nights where you know over 40 percent, nearly 50 percent of the homes in Japan. Are, are tuned into the game, that, that, that's crucial for us. I, I mean, you can't, unless you want to be, you know, just a North American kind of um, domestic sport, um, you have to play in this international arena. In terms of the injury issue, you know, I, I, I think it's really important um, – to focus on what the players said, to tell you the truth. I mean, after the injuries, they pointed out, look, people get hurt in spring training, you know? I mean, don't, we don't want to see anybody get hurt. Right. But, um, you know, people get hurt in spring training, too. And, and um, I, I think overall, nothing in life is all good. Um, mm -hmm. Overall, the massive benefits of this event outweigh the problems caused by injury. And and uh, the players themselves were talking. I mean, Mookie Betts was saying it's one of the greatest uh, experiences he's ever had on a, on a baseball diamond. Uh, all, all that said, do you think you're going to still need to twist some arms, figuratively, uh, for, for the next one, 2026? Do you think? Uh, you, you know, know I, I, I actually think um, that – the fact that players like Mookie and Mike Trout and Adam Wainwright went out and talked about this as being one of their, their um, greatest experiences in baseball, um, that that will entice other players to participate. I also think you're going to see, particularly with respect to the U.S. team, that they're going to be look, looking to load up and win again. <laughs> um, I really do believe that. You know, the, the baseball players pretty competitive, Rich, um, and nobody likes to lose. So, um, I, I think the event will continue to grow. I really do. Well, I mean, like I was saying on my show, Commissioner, and I'll just repeat it here, uh, Otani versus Trout was a bring the entire family into the room moment in my household. The entire family was there. We just called yeah. everyone in, like, let's go see this, and we were just on the edge of our seats the entire time. I mean, that that's what it you was. You know, we, we, we actually had gone um, downstairs to get ready to – you know, go on the field and, and award medals. And um, I'm standing there and I'm literally thinking, I can't believe this is actually happening. Uh, you literally, mm. it's like one of those things, you, you could not ask for a better end to the tournament. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern for free.